Hi there again. So uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about um, rules engines. Um, um, and I've chosen a pretty old one. It's uh, the key server or drool 6.2. And, uh, you know, but if anybody's ever watched any of my videos, it's really not a technical deep dive or anything like that. It's just a very high level first steps. What's this thing about? And I mainly do these videos so that I can document what I've done so that later I can go back and I don't have to learn all of that stuff again or figure it out again when I need it. So um, what I really did was uh, um, I uh, installed um, this um, um, Wildfly 8.2 which is JBoss's server uh, application server so it's an old one too. And then in a standalone deployments folder, I put in this key server and key WB workbench. And those are two war files. And what those war files really mean is uh, this. Um, there's this workbench where uh, business people can create rules. And then there's some Maven component. And, and But uh, you really work with a workbench and then you work with a rule server. And uh, this is that key uh, uh, server, or Kai, or key, or whatever server. But you know, I wanted to create a, a, a environment that is totally uh, a standalone. So um, I uh, so these this workbench and the server runs inside of of the app server. And um, but the interface that I'm exposing here is RESTful, uh, so that these apps from the outside. You know, they don't have to have stubs and skeletons and all that kind of stuff. They can just call JSON REST and get a JSON response to execute the rules. So you can set many of these rules servers up with containers, and I'll show a little bit about that. But And then um, business works mainly on the workbench and publishes those rules to these rule servers who then expose us um, a RESTful interface that these applications can call. To uh, you know, execute the rules. So um, you know, here's the workbench. If I sign in here, um, you'll see that I can um, get going there in the background. Here is, of course, um, the the little app server running. Um, nothing serious there. So uh, you know, there's there's parts here. Um, you know, some of it doesn't work in this distribution, but the main things that I really use is this pro product, uh, a project authoring. I go in there and, um, you know, I can start a new project. And there's all these things you can do. I really just used a project, um, a data object, and a decision table or spreadsheet. So, um, uh, um, so I created a project and I just called it the cow project. And um, inside there, I have a data object called a cow, and a cow is a name and an age. And so you can design it here. Yeah, you design it. You know, business people can even design this, but probably some technical people design this. It's an int and a string, and it generates the source code for you. If you know Java, you'll understand the source code, but you don't need to understand that. You can just create objects here, data objects. And then here's the, uh, um, the actual rules. So the rules, um, you can choose a file, and the file is um, this one. So um, it's in Excel. So I'm going to open up. Um, and there's many ways to get files in here. You can do that with uh, writing rules, files, or all sorts of things. But here's, here's the file. And you don't really have to, business people really don't have to change any of that stuff at the top. But that is just it's what package is in and what objects we're working with. We're importing cow. And there's a thing that says if age is greater than one of these things, the age, then set the name to one of these things. So you can see if the age is 0 to 10, then make it change the name, the new name to young calf. Uh, 10 to 20, 30, 40, 50, very old cow. You know, so it's very simple. Of course, it can be much more complex, but this is just a basic example. So you have a spreadsheet like that. And, um, you know, so I'm just going to uh, uh, save as. And I will call this spreadsheet 
um, cow rules five and I will save it and um, so in here we can choose then a file and there's my thing called cow rules five and it's gonna uh, upload it and there it's uploading it says successful and then I can validate it and um, it's validated cool um, what it does though it takes that and creates this thing called the rules file a DRL so if you understood more programming you could create this file yourself but um, you can just do so via the spreadsheet so there's the file so I now have a file I'm gonna go and create a package here so I'm currently at version 142 I'm gonna go and create a version 143 of my project and I'm going to save that and I am going to build that so um, I've just built and hopefully it built successfully it says build successful so I've created a version 143 so in the deployment here's rule deployments that's what I'm working with here of course you, this is also for business process management but I'm just really interested in the rules part so here's the key server the server that I uh, showed earlier I only have one running you can have many of them running and they register here and uh, but I only have one running and it's running inside uh, 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 it's running version 6.3 is, uh, is uh, the server it's running so I'm going to create a new container in here um, and I'm just gonna go to test uh, cow test cow and um, I'm going to look for my 1.4.3 version of my package I'm going to select it it's going to go in there and I'm going to um, um, deploy that so there's now a container called test cow um, I can go to that container um, there's a, a, you know it's running 1.43 but I can also go and now and you'll see that it's stopped but I can start it and that container has now started um, we can see here that uh, the container successfully started. So there's a test cow running now, a uh, container on this key server, and that is what exposes the REST interface. So I'm um, going to swap to the REST tool here. I use Postman. So this is the URL. That's the key server services REST container. And there's the test cow. That's that container I just created. I'm going to send in a, uh, a object called a cow and I want a, a, a return uh, object and I'm going to send Mary and I'm just going to say it is eight years old. Mary is eight years old and I'm going to say fire all rules. So when I send this data into that uh, container, I'm going to get a response back and the name now is young calf. Okay, so... Um, if we remember the spreadsheet that we had, we had this test rule 5 spreadsheet which we installed then we said uh, young calf 0 to 10. Okay, so um, let's go try something like a 42 year old uh, cow. So sorry, I know it's a silly example but you, you get the idea. So um, if this was uh, 42 and no disrespect to anybody, I mean this 42 uh, we're gonna see that it now says it's a good cow and um, 42 would have been this rule and it's a good cow so rules execute from top to bottom and this one ended up good cow so what I can do now is I can say you know what um, the last one was a very old cow but I'm going to insert there I'm gonna say nearly old rule and I'm gonna say, um, oops, um, if a cow is older than 45, I'm going to uh, create a new rule here that says almost old. That's gonna be the cow's name, almost old. So that's 45 to 50. So I'm just added that. I'm going to save this rule then. Uh, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna call this rule six or uh, spreadsheet number six there we go so I'm gonna go back in here I'm going to go back to my project I'm gonna go back to my decision table 
and I got that by creating a decision table. So I'm going to choose the file, but this time I'll choose rule 6, and I'm going to say upload it. It says successfully upload it. I'm going to go back to my project. Oops, I'm sorry, sometimes it's crazy. There we go. I'm going back to my project. I'm going to create a version 1.44 now. And um, I'm going to save that, save it. And I'm going to build and deploy a version 1.44. I am basically at this point uh, deploying that server to this Maven, I believe, uh, to the repository there. So um, there I've de deployed my version 1.44. Um, now I'm going to go back to my uh, um, server, my rules. I can see I have a test cow. Let's create another uh, container and I'm going to call it test cow, oops, cow 2. And um, I'm going to get that one by 1.4.4. I'm going to look for it. There it is. I'm going to select it. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to start that container. Uh, oops, that container. I'm going to start that. So now I have two containers over here. So uh, if I eat test cow, which is um, um, the container I had, but I'm going to make it 47, the age, 47. And um, we will see that the answer is still a good cow. Um, but you can see test cow still runs the rules 1.4.3. Now I'm going to hit test cow 2 with the same um, data test cloud 2 which is a different container and we will see that it says almost old and that's a new rule that we put in so we added this rule 45 almost old so that's it executing there so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go into this guy test cow and I'm going to upgrade it I'm going to say you upgrade to 1.44 please and you will see that it swaps and it's also now 1.44 so both my containers are running 1.44 so if I send this data to test cow um, now um, I will also get the answer almost old because I've upgraded it to the latest rule set so that's it basically there there's some headers you need to set here if you if you're calling these things um, and the headers are basically that um, you uh, of course, got to put your username and password. You create that during the installation. There's good instructions on that. And I'm sending JSON, and you got to put this X key content type JSON in there so you can get JSON back. Um, and that's about it. Uh, simple as that. Um, it now allows me to give my business, um, you know, spreadsheets which they can fill in and, and change rules. Um, uh, they can come uh, give us a spreadsheet, we can deploy it, and we can update the servers and containers or upgrade them when we're ready. And uh, the rule starts update, uh, you know, is updated and can run. So, uh, thank you very much.